Well, that should be a good hook set. Now I saw that fish take off with it. Definitely feels like a good one. It may be in a rock, but it feels pretty good. Unless it's wrapped up in a rock. Let's go, Lily. I'll take you over, come on. There you go, go ahead. What's up everybody? I'm under this highway bridge today and my goal is to catch some channel cats here in the winter. Now this river is really shallow, but every year I get into these channel cats. We're gonna start here at the top of the hole where it's maybe five, six feet deep and we're gonna work down this hole to eventually we'll be fishing really shallow. I only have about two hours to fish today, so if you're seeing this, the bite is gonna be hot and the bite is gonna be fast. Welcome to Chasing Moby Dick. Hit the subscribe button if you like content like this. Let's see what's biting today. We have a special guest, Lily, today. Hi, girl. Oh. All right, shh, we don't wanna scare the fish. Okay, go get muddy somewhere else. You're good. I'm gonna set a timer for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna move on. This bite here in the winter time will usually be quick or none at all. Whole night crawler. Carp on this one. We'll give it another 10 minutes. There we go. There's a fish. It's uh, been about three minutes. It's on the striper filet. Oh, he's in a rock. Now this should be a channel cat. I know Lily's excited about it. Channel cat number one. Yeah. Check it out, man. Kind of a short, slightly fat channel cat there. I'll take him. It's pretty pudgy for how short he is. Awesome. We really just kind of casted it out into the middle. We're fishing the very back side of this hole. So my bait may be in like three or four feet or it may be in like two feet. I, I don't really know. This river changes so much. You know, I'm kind of guessing, but the bank usually holds its depth on this side because we have all these rocks to help it hold its depth. But the rest of the river is really sandy and therefore changes all the time. Oh, there's a bite. There's that bite. Yep, there it is. Now we missed it? I don't know how we missed it. Man. Okay, they're biting. I think we're getting a bite right here. Yeah, we are getting a little bite. It's about to pull the line tight. Watch this. No, wow. Missed it, man. Maybe my bait's too big. Okay. Well, we're trying, folks. We're trying. One on the board. No, oh, I missed it. The fish are biting. I'm not doing a very good job getting a hook in them.
There we go. That's what we wanted right there. That didn't take long after the last one we just missed. Did it come off? Oh, it came off. How horrible. What a disaster. What a flat out disaster, okay. Time to get serious. It wants it. Here it goes. Well, that should be a good hook set. All right, channel cat number two, man. After missing several, we've got number two on the board. And they're biting right here at a pretty nice frequency. So we're gonna ride it out here for a little bit. Just your average channel cat right here. Hey bud. Lily, why don't you let me uh, handle this one, okay? Channel cat number two. Healthy guy. Probably a uh, hair over two pounds. Nice eater. Well, here we go. Fish on. Yep. This will be number three. Awesome, we just caught the second one. So I don't even have its bait back in the water yet. This is another channel cat of delicious, delicious eating size. Go ahead and take him up here real quick like that. Thank you, buddy. Okay, folks. Just a beautiful, beautiful channel cat right there number three on the day here's all we're using as bait I've got all my bites kind of from this rock to the left so I'm gonna cast this one straight out and not too far about right Saw this one get bit really good. I took my bells off. Yeah, it's still there. When it comes to tighten the lineup, I'll set the hook. goes there we go no it came off how is this how can this be <laughs> maybe these are really I mean the two I've caught so far are pretty or the three I've caught so far are pretty small but still that's that's a small bay right there but if they bite every few seconds I'll take that Fighting at a real good clip now. What's up? What's up, girl? You can't even pay me any mind. You're too busy having fun. Watch this. Uh, that sideways hook set. We got a hook in this one. This one feels bigger too. But he barely bit. because it is a bigger one. Wow, really soft bites for the most part today. I mean, these are light action rods. You figured they'd be folding them, but they're not. This one's bigger. 
maybe quite a bit bigger, I don't know. No, but he should be the biggest. It's also wrapped up, so that makes him feel bigger. It's a good fish right there. All right, how cool is that? Chunky channel cat, that's number four. I, I have another one getting hit over there. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Uh, we're just gonna go for numbers today. Let's put him back. What a stud, he's nice and fat. If I start catching more like him, I might have to end up keeping a few. Here's a new bait, an itty bitty carp head. Very, very, very small common carp. It's a really nice little bait. And we know fish love carp, so. It ought to work pretty good. Here we go. Man, that almost feels like a good one. If it doesn't come off this time. <laughs> Man, channel cats are crazy. I love channel cats. Come on, baby. What do we got? Channel cat. Number five, number six, I think it's number five. Oh boy, has a little mouth. Real little mouth. <laughs> Booyah. Channel cat, number five. Pretty sweet, let's let him go. I'm gonna tell you guys, it's really fun to do this every once in a while. I haven't gone targeting channel catfish and I can't even remember the last time I did it. And the winter time is usually a great time for me to catch big fish, but you know what? It's also a great time for this channel catfish pattern at this one particular area. I'm not a winter channel catfish expert by any means. Um, but during this stretch of river, every winter, all the way up and usually until early January, I can catch as many channel catfish as I want. In fact, the only places I've limited out in my life are right here. One day I caught 16 and one day I caught 18 channel cats here. Let's get some baits back in the water. I just put out a piece of carp on this one, a little piece of meat off of it. And then I'm gonna reuse this carp head right here, because we just caught a fish on it. And so why not use that little nugget of delicious catfish bait again? Here's my rig. This right here is 20 pound braided line, okay? with a two ounce lead on it. Two ounces just because that's what I had on my backpack. I'd really like something more like a one for this channel cap fishing. A one-aught barrel swivel, 50 pound monofilament leader, down in this case to a one-aught hook. All right. And with that, you have a basic Carolina rig, dominant for catching catfish. Here we go. Now I saw that fish take off with it. Definitely feels like a good one. It may be in a rock, but it feels pretty good. Unless it's wrapped up in a rock. Okay, I think it was just wrapped up. <laughs> wow. Giving me some fight though. Come on, brother. Now, this is on carp. Oh, that's a decent one right there. Whoops, I'll take that any day. This one is really mad, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's freaking great. Yeah, guys, we got uh, two fish on at once. I just got the one in, and then I was gonna take a picture with it real quick and I saw this guy actually fold it over. It's 
one feels pretty small. But a lot of fun. So this is number six and seven right here. Man, I am tearing them up, honestly. Tearing them up. Uh-oh, don't cross each other, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, guys. It's a pretty nice channel cat right there. That's the first of the double. Awesome. See you, buddy. He gone. There's the last of the double right there. That's number seven. She's very intrigued. I'm gonna let this guy go. <laughs> Where'd he go, Lily? <laughs> That's a small piece of cut carp there. Here we go. That's an itty bitty head of carp. I need to hook that a little bit better. This bait's caught two fish already, so it's getting a little beat up. But it can catch us another few fish, I'm sure. Okay, we're getting bit already. Mud. Something's on this one. It started to run out with the line right there. I didn't want it to feel it until I had both hands on it here. Here we go. There we go. No! I've never lost so many fish in my life. Huh. Oh my goodness. We might have a fish on here. Yeah, it's all over it. Trying to set that hook because I had terrible, terrible luck with fish spitting it today. Unless something goes wrong, this should be number eight. There we go. Come here, fella. Of course, that's why our hookup rate is bad is because these fish are small. How cool is that? Just a pristine, healthy, Oklahoma Channel Cat, I'm gonna let him go. Real small piece of carp right there. Here we go. Gotta keep the bow in that rod. Someone not coming off today. Number nine. Bury that hook home. There we go. Tearing them up. It's a good one right there. How about that, y'all? Number nine. <laughs> This is so much fun. Um, it's so easy to do. It's just simple, you know, no fresh bait. You know, it's, it's old bait. I could be using frozen bait right now, you know. A lot less meticulous than going for trophies. Um, and frankly, a lot of fun. I mean, this guy literally hit as soon as the bait hit the bottom. So you can't ask for much more as far as hot action. I'm gonna catch one or two more and call it good. We'll see you, buddy. Woohoo! Bye. All right, little piece of carp tail.
All right, let's see how long it takes this time. This may already be getting hit. This just hit the bottom. And I missed it. Now we'll see how long it takes. It just hit the ground. Oh yeah, this is getting a bite already. They're not slamming it, but I can see the line playing games. It's because they're barely biting it, but here we go. Should be tent. Make sure to set that hook, man. These fish are coming off today, but this one feels like he's on there. Feels like a better one. Number 10, fantastic. I actually chummed with some range cubes a minute ago. I might throw a worm out now to see if I can catch a carp or something for a fishing trip I have tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good, good channel cat right here. Took him no time, no time to eat that. It's a good one. Oh, that looks like number 11 right there. I missed it. Can't believe I missed it. <laughs> wow, look at that fat chunk right there. I wish I still had my stringer, uh, but I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. But well, that's a nice, nice channel cat right there. I love this, man. Fishing of all kinds is an amazing thing. Let's let him go. See you, little brother. Yeah, I think there might be a fish on there. Anyways, whole night crawler. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be here about 10 more minutes and I'm done. I'm just watching the line right here. It's slack and I'm looking for it to start to get pulled tight. In which case I'll try and remove it from the rod holder before it can get pulled tight. A little bit of a frustrating bite today, but they are biting. And so really, I am not in a position to complain. In fact, even if they weren't biting, I would not be in a position to complain. But they are biting, and so I'm about to catch this one right here. I don't know how I missed it, dude. Boom. Stay running like crazy. Running like crazy, man. What are you? Just a feisty channel cat. Oh, we got something on the worms now, too. Missed something on the worms there. Dang. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like content like this. And there should be a playlist up here or up here. I forget which one. There's going to be some more great fishing content in it. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Well, I hooked one at the end on worms. There's the real last one. I'll see you guys on the next one.